Aren't they lovely? Mm -mm, who doesn't love fresh berry scones? So I've got some blueberries and some strawberries and I'm going to make this recipe that I found online. I'll go ahead and put it up, um, the recipe. But I just wanted to share this with you because I've made this three or four times. It's pretty basic. I think some of the key elements is whole milk, sour cream, there's sugar, there's flour, there's butter, baking powder, and baking soda. And so basically that's it. And there's a little bit of lemon zest so I'll pull that in when it's ready. I'm going to start the prep by, um, it says, oh the butter is frozen so I put it in the freezer last night because um, you're going to grate it and when you grate it it will um, be it will be firmer of course if it's frozen so that's what we're trying to do um, because we'll mix it in to make the pastry so um, the first thing it says the recipe said is to take two half two sticks and grate half of each of them so that you can hold on to the um, the butter and you know it just makes it easy you don't grate your fingers and so you really just want one stick of butter if you only have one we'll just do that and that's what I'm going to do now okay so there are my two half sticks and now this is the grated butter and it's pretty firm which is nice to not have to deal with a lot of grated squishy butter and so the next thing I'm going to do is whisk together milk and sour cream which would be a half cup of whole milk and a half cup of sour cream here we go so the whisk I have is too big but I'm just using a fork to do my whisking and just getting the sour cream all dissolved in here it's kind of fun I like to watch it. It's really thick, creamy looking. Almost there. Oh, it's pretty lumpy. Not that it really matters again because this is sour cream. It'll get smushed in later when we um, do the kneading. But that's kind of pretty looking now. There's a little bit of air fluff here, like that. Very nice. I like it. Okay, so the next step is to take the flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and lemon zest all together in a large bowl. I have me here my metal bowl. I love these um, metal bowls, these stainless steel bowls. I have a few of them. Okay. So here I've put in um, the flour, two cups, half cup sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, a quarter teaspoon baking soda, soda, salt. Um, I did six twists of this um, salt twister. Um, it, the recipe called for a half teaspoon of salt, so called it a variation. Um, and then uh, I'm going to make a half teaspoon of lemon zest using this lemon that I happen to have. Okay, so our lemon zest is in there now, and to do that I used the small side of the grater because you want to kind of release the flavor and not have it be too concentrated. That's all whisked together and now we get to the slightly messier part where I'm going to be mixing in the grated butter with my hand. Okay so now I've put it in so I'm just going to do it with the fork first. Kind of save myself a little bit of icky I don't particularly like the feel of, um, of the fat on my hands, but 
So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go to the kneading. Okay, so I am mashing all of this together and with my hands. And right now it's just the dry ingredients and the butter. So, and then we're going to add the whisked flour, um, whisked milk and sour cream. Now I don't usually buy whole milk, but I kind of learned that if the recipe calls for whole milk, they want it. So, um, sometimes I'll try to vary off. I just don't want to go and buy whole milk so that I can use a cup in a recipe, but today we are mostly going by the recipe. At the end I'm going to do a slight variation which will be to have, instead of um, just blueberries and strawberries, I'm going to add some uh, blackberries too because I happen to have some of those on hand. I just want to be able to call this triple berry scones. Okay, so this is kind of fun. So that's kind of all you need to do. And then it wants me to use a wooden spoon to do the um, mixing of the whisked milk and sour cream. And I'm not sure exactly why a wooden spoon. I guess I'll have to look that up and see why people suggest that. But there we go. It's looking pretty good. I'm just going to mix this and put the camera down so that I can do this properly. So here we are. We've got our strawberries and our blueberries and our, it was five blackberries in the bottom. Sure wish I had some raspberries to put in. Ooh, that would be four berry scones. That would be awesome. We'll have to do that again. So there are the berries and I put the, um, cut up the blackberries because there were only three or four of them. I think it was five, but who's counting? Uh, and I wanted to have a better chance of having blackberries in, you know, more of the scones, so. And now we have taken the cold pastry out of the fridge. It's not cold, it's more like cool. And I think it just makes the handling different. That's why they want you to do that. But now I'm going to uh, basically flatten it out again. Sorry, I was rereading the instructions. Um, so now I'm going to make it all flat, add the berries, roll it up, pat it down, and cut it. But I will come back and show you some of this as it's going along. Oh my goodness, this is the most rectangular it has ever looked. So now we're going to add the berries. It's so much fun. Oh, there's 425 on the oven. So as soon as we're done with this, we can pop it in. Um, it suggests that you could also freeze it. I personally don't um, like how that came out because I did that one time. And um, I'm just all for making it, baking it, eating it. All right, let's keep moving on this. Right, almost there. So... Here it is all laid out, flat. I'm going to roll it up, flatten it out, and uh, then we'll cut it. Yum, yum. Okay, rolled up into a log. I'm going to smash it and cut it. Smashed out and ready to be cut. Um, this actually is the cleanest it's ever looked. Um, usually it's a little lumpier. Let's see how this uh, comes out after I cut it. One of the things I did learn is that um, if you cut it too big after it rises, it's going to be an enormous scone. You really don't want to do that. So I'm going to cut small triangles. So this one, I ended up getting 10 scones out of it. And this one is a little mousy, so 11 and a half. Um, so I'm going to separate them now. Okay, so here they are separated. And I've melted the butter because now I'm going to brush the top with butter so that it'll brown nicely. 
I'm just imagining that's why it is, but it should do when the butter is on. And also I've stuck some sugar here in the middle because then we'll um, dip the brush in the sugar and brush the tops so that we get a little bit of sugar. I think and that would be the way to do it. I think I could have just sprinkled the sugar on, but oh well, it's all good. There we go, nice. That's what I was thinking. I think that works. I wonder if it's still solid or is it all melting in? Good question. I think it's still solid. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Nice. Now the baking is um, for 25 degrees, 18 to 20 minutes. Let's see how that comes up. Mental note, cut them even smaller. They're enormous. Some of them are in a nice tiny size, but these are huge. But 